Okay, so um, right now what I'm showing you is uh, a server that came from Facebook um, that was purchased by Incutel, which is basically the uh, Central Intelligence Agency's venture capital network, which provides funding for companies that need hardware that's extremely expensive that develop what's called software as a service. So what you're looking at right now is a few years old, but it's going to get the job done. So basically this server weighs 160 pounds loaded. It has the ability to hold 12 solid state drives or hard disk drives. And uh, it's usually carried by two people, but some people don't like to wait for another person, so basically this server is built in a drawer style cloud based system that runs on a pre-execution environment that allows the operating system to be versioned out to all the different nodes through PXE. Um, you have basically four individual computers and uh, two power supplies. Each power supply is 1440 watts. Um, the uh, drawers on the servers actually come out by pressing a button and taking some screws out on the back. And as you can see, this is one drawer for a cloud server. They're eventually, for your average cloud network, you would have thousands of these servers and they would all be in containers and stacks. So we've started off our network with 60 PowerEdge C6100s. And um, when you buy a cloud server from us, you're getting basically this whole piece dedicated to whatever you're doing on the network. But this is with hyperthreading and with Linux using the virtualization correctly, you're looking at 24 cores per node. So if you were to buy a cloud server from us, you would have a dedicated cloud motherboard. This is a cloud motherboard. This is two Xeon eight cores. You can get 12 cores. So, you know, these. this is just a demonstration model, but you also get RAM. You know, you can get as much RAM as you want, literally. Um, each node it has the ability to handle about 48 gigs of RAM. The entire system can hold up to 256 gigs of ECC server RAM. All of these slide out, and the reasons why these are designed is if one fails, we can you know fix it rather quickly. Um, it is completely redundant, which means that if a node fails, the cloud does something called failover and failover is basically a system that will automatically route all of your virtual in the cloud all of your data is not stored on this machine right here this machine right here all it does is run the instance in which your software operates which means that none of your data is stored on this the only reason you would even have solid state drives in this machine is to run the instance in which you run your application layer, but all of your data is stored on solid state drives in the cloud, which is basically you have, the way this works hardware wise, is you have a fiber cable running out the back of your virtualized environment, and all of your physical data is stored on a massive storage area network. Now by having this, you have the possibility of, one, you never lose your data, because the chances of a solid state drive failing from mechanical problems is, is pretty much slim to none. You, know, you don't have hard drives anymore. And not only that, but with the new website that we're launching, storingtheinternet.com, you will be able to get cloud-based routers. You will be able to get cloud-based firewalls. You will be able to get cloud-based everything. All of these new types of Linux-based containers that nobody else is dealing with, you will be able to get from storingtheinternet.com. Now, there's literally unlimited possibilities here because eventually this is no longer going to be something that we use because we will eventually develop our own proprietary, super micro-based manufacturing model. 
And once we have that, we'll be able to optimize the network even more. So that's pretty much what's going on right now from a hardware perspective, if you could understand. So yeah.